Okay, I'm going to play with the blend if layer mode and I'm going to play with the sepia toning of a photograph and um, split toning. So let's see. First I want to take the background and I want to add to it a, an adjustment layer and I'm going to go with hue saturation. Say OK. And I'll double click on that and I'll say colorize. And I'll take the hue down to something mm, fairly red. And I'll say OK. Now that represents the dark tones of the sepia. I like to do sepia sort of as a split tone. I don't know how realistic that is, but I just like the way it looks rather than just having it all one hue, which is what we're looking at right now, a sepia, which is all one hue. So we take the background and copy it, and we'll put it up here, and we'll take the hue saturation layer, copy that, and put that up here as well, and then I'm going to hold the Alt button down, click on the line, hold the Alt button down, click on the line, that connects each hue saturation layer directly to the image. Now I'm going to adjust the upper one, and I'm going to take the hue back toward well, I'm going to make it too green, just to really exaggerate the difference for the time being. Now, uh, by double-clicking on this background copy over here in this region, I can use this Blend If um, mode. I don't know if it's called a mode, but... And if we drag the dark slider, we can see that it starts to let red into the dark areas. That's exactly what I'm looking for. If I drag the light end of the slider, it lets red into the light areas. That's not what I want to do. I want the reds to be in the darks. So um, I'm going to drag the slider until it lets a fair amount of the red layer through. Now because it's based on a conditional blend if, it's got really kind of crunchy edges. It's either one way or it's the other way. But fortunately if you hold the Alt key down, you can open up that slider and split it into pieces and cause there to be a kind of a, a, a ramp in between the two in, in between the two layers of the transition. So you can soften that transition, which is what I'm doing now. Okay, so now, well I sort of skipped to split tone, you can see that we have the ability to you know, go quite exaggerated with the uh, the lights. Now it's very cold. Um, we can put that more like sort of in the sepia family. And then we can go to the darks and we can go very cold with those if we wanted to. Um, or we can put those kind of in the red family which is kind of what I like to do with sepia photographs. Um, the lights might be still a little too green. We can make that adjustment. And um, what's also nice is we have a lot of ability to control exactly where this change occurs by using the, the blend if sliders. So the whole thing is very interactive and it previews directly in front of you.